Um, I'm Pam Jungman, the Summerfest Entertainment Coordinator for the city. And alongside of me is my co-host, Lori Polkebeck. She is the City of Oakdale Communications Manager. Thanks, Pam. Tonight, Friday, June 24th, 2022, we are kicking off the City of Oakdale's Summerfest celebration with the Ted Berth Grand Parade. Summerfest is a two-day celebration taking place at Richard Walton Park and includes concerts at the Bandshell, food trucks, a medallion hunt, 5K, kids activities, tournaments, fireworks, and more. The 37th annual Ted Berth Grand Parade has 56 parade units participating, and tonight's parade will feature music by live bands, fun with clowns, decorated floats, collecting candy, and watching the spectacular parade performances. Our first unit approaching is the American Legion Post 39 Honor Guard. The Honor Guard is composed of veterans from World War II, the Korean War, Vietnam War, the Gulf War eras. Their motto is still serving America. Let's stand and salute. Approaching now is the Oakdale Fire Department, um, one of the best departments in the state. The Oakdale Fire Department consists of both career and volunteer firefighters, providing fire, rescue, and emergency medical services to the community. We thank them. Yes, we do. And next up, we have our Grand Marshal. And let us celebrate and congratulate Oakdale's recently retired Fire Chief Jeff Anderson. After 41 years of service to the Oakdale community, he and his wife Kay lead this year's parade as the Grand Marshals. Thank you, Jeff, for your leadership and growing Oakdale Fire into what it has become today. Enjoy retirement. And in front of us is Mayor Paul Ranke. Um, he has served as Oakdale's mayor since 2016 and on the city council since 2005. Um, at this time, I'd like to thank and announce who our judges are for the parade tonight. They are Lindy Arnold, B.J. Jungman, and Carla Sincada. Um, I'd like to give a shout out of thanks to them, and um, I hope they enjoy the parade. And the mayor is followed by the four city council members, Kevin Zobel, Jake Ingebrigtsen, Colleen Swedberg, and Susan Olson. City council meetings are held at Oakdale City Hall, 1584 Hadley Avenue at 7 p.m. on the second and fourth Tuesday of each month. And behind the city council is the Washington County Sheriff Dan Starry. He's honored to serve the residents of Washington County. Sheriff Starry is the 30th sheriff in the history of the sheriff's office. The sheriff's office has over 260 dedicated employees serving our citizens. Next up, we have the Washington County Mounted Patrol. This group of volunteers assists the sheriff's office with community events and searching for missing persons and evidence. The Washington County Mounted Patrol donates hundreds of hours every year. There's some gorgeous horses. Yes, they are. What a beautiful night for a parade. Isn't it though? A little hot, but at least the breeze is there, so that helps keep us cool. Yes, it does. The horses are doing a little uh, show here in front of the judges. Oh, great. Approaching now is Washington County Commissioner Stan Karwalski. Stan was a Washington County Commissioner serving Oakdale. He's been the past mayor and council member of Oakdale. Stan loves serving Oakdale and wants to continue, so Stan will be on the ballot in November seeking re-election. And next up, we have the Maplewood Oakdale Lions. And the Lions have been serving Oakdale for over 50 years. And riding on this beautiful float are the 2022 scholarship winners. Oakdale Recreation ITS truck is here to fill your child's summer with fun. See the ITS truck schedule and all the great programs and activities Oakdale Recreation has to offer your family by visiting www.oakdalefun.com exclamation. Uh, that crew down there, they do a wonderful job doing activities for kids in the community. Yes, they do. And next up, we have Legacy Dance Studio. Since 1998, 
Oakdale-based Legacy Dance Studio has been providing recreational and competitive dance to all ages 18 months through 18 years old. Hip-hop, tap, jazz, contemporary, and ballet are just some of the styles available at Legacy Dance Studio. If your children are in interested in dance, come be a part of their legacy. Reach them at LegacyDanceStudio.com or 651-735-9216. Next up, we have Transfiguration Catholic Church and School. Our next group is Transfiguration of Oakdale. They have fun activities for all ages to enjoy. Check out their website for more information and upcoming events at www.transfigurationmn.org. And next we have Oak Meadows Senior Living, which is in its 24th year in Oakdale. They offer independent, assisted, and memory care, as well as 24-7 staff. They have been in every parade except two over the last 24 years. They are located next door to Guardian Angels Church and up the street from Best Buy, Olive Garden, and Home Goods. Next up, we have the Twin Cities Metropolitan Pipe Band. It's a registered 501.C3 that is based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. They perform all over the Twin Cities and Midwest, fostering the tradition of the Great Highland Bagpipe. If you're interested in learning more bagpipes or drums or would like to perform at your events, reach out to tcmpb.org. They are definitely entertaining. Next, we have All Family Dental. Doctors Richard Tim and Kevin Anderson invite you to All Family Dental, where we create smiles for a lifetime. Visit them at afdsmiles.com. Next up is Tartan, Tartan Jr.'s Volleyball Club, Tartan Juniors offers off-season play for players 10 to 18 years of age. They have all fall, at cl at fall clinic activities starting in October until their 2023 se season tryouts will be taking place in mid-November. Visit them at www.tartanjuniorsvb.com. And next we have the Tartan High School Volleyball Team. Their mission is to provide all players in the Tartan Volleyball program with a positive and competitive experience in which they will continue to develop their volleyball, teamwork, and life skills. The coaching staff is dedicated to creating an environment that all athletes can thrive in. And next up is the Tartan football. They offer 7 to 12 football at Tartan High School. Please visit them at www.tartanfootball.com. They say thank you. And coming up, we have the Tartan High School soccer team located in Oakdale, uh, and they're having a youth camp August 8th through the 11th. Their regular season starts August 15th. Register on the Tartan website at uh, tartansoccer.com. Next up, we have the Tartan Boys Traveling Basketball. They provide boys competitive basketball in our community and surrounding areas. Please visit them on Facebook, Tartan Boys Traveling Basketball. Early Childhood and Family Programs with the School District 622 is coming up next. They offer parent and child classes from ages birth to five years old, pop in and play, free childhood screenings, and preschool options for three and four-year-olds. 
And next up, we have the Tartan Dance Team. Uh, the Tartan Dance Team is a high school sport consisting of dancers in grades 7 through 12. They have a fall performance season and a competitive winter season. They host a summer dance camp for District 622's K through 12 students to learn dance skills and combos. To learn more, check them out on Facebook or Instagram by searching Tartan Dance Team. Next up, we have Monarch Bus Service. Join Monarch Bus Service today to help kids. Become a school bus driver, van driver, or bus aide. Monarch Bus Service will support you with free training to help you earn your CDL so that you are ready to drive students when school starts in the fall. If you enjoy working with children, have a clean driving record, and want competitive pay with incentives and profit sharing, get started today at monarchbusservice.com. And we now have the United Marching Band, which includes grades 8 through 12 students from all secondary schools in District 622. They are all united into one marching band under the direction of Lori Bernstrom, Aaron Hammerman, John Poivney, Meg Halston, and Colin Howe. Approaching now is the Oakdale Athletic Association. Here is the Oakdale Athletic Association, a youth sports program to foster the development of young sports skills and ethical and athletic practices. So important in life. Visit them at oaaonline.com. And now approaching, we have the St. Paul Clown Club. Uh, the St. Paul Clown Club was formed in 1946 and is the oldest operating clown club in the United States. This year they are celebrating over 75 years of bringing smiles and laughter to people in parades and events throughout Minnesota. And approaching behind them is the House of Prayer Lutheran Church. Visit houseofprayerlutheran.org. Padilla Child Development Center provides care for children ages 16 months through 12 years with an intentional focus on social-emotional development and naturally integrated cognitive learning through play. Your child will be excited to attend each and every day. Their exceptional staff partners with parents to grow happy, healthy children and create a warm and welcoming community. Check them out at PadillaChild.com. And behind them is Big Frog of Woodbury, is very active in our community. They love to provide decorated garments to individuals, schools, and nonprofits. Shop local, shop Big Frog. And next we have Cub Oakdale. Visit your friendly neighborhood Cub store located on 10th Street for the freshest meat and produce. You can also save time and order online for grocery and liquor store pickup and delivery. Proudly serving our Oakdale community for 10 years. And behind them is the Girl Scouts of River Valleys. Join the Girl Scouts of River Valleys at www.girlscoutrv.org. Girl Scouts enjoy learning life skills, earning patches, going on field trips, going to camp, and having lots of fun. Next up, we have the Senate District 44 Republicans. Uh, and they represent the cities of Little Canada, parts of Maplewood, North St. Paul, Pine Springs, Oakdale, and Landfall. Next up, uh, we have approaching La Petite Academy. They offer infant, toddler, preschool, pre-kindergarten, and school age programs, which provide the perfect foundation for learning and development. Each day, your child will be engaged in educational activities that take place in a secure, caring, and enriching environment. Learn more at lapetite.com. Approaching is Marcus Theaters. It has some of the great summer movies for the whole family, such as Minions, The Rise of Guru, Thor, Love and Thunder, and DC League of Super Pets. Take advantage of their special pricing with discounted Tuesdays and Student Thursdays. 
Visit MarcusTheaters.com for more information. Everybody loves a good movie. <laughs> true story. And it's tr- it's nice and cool inside there. <laughs> That's true. Tashney Exteriors is a local company owned and a local family-owned company with a belief in sincere customer service, providing exterior services to residential, multifamily, commercial, and industrial customers. Quality craftsmanship and long-lasting relationships with their customers has developed a strong foundation on which they have built their reputation. Specializing in roofing, siding, windows, insulation, storm damage restoration, gutters, trim, and more. And right behind them is the White Bear Lake High School Drumline. The White Bear Lake High School Drumline is the musical ambassador for the White Bear Lake area community. This group is active in local parades, the state fair, and was invited to perform during Super Bowl week in Minneapolis in 2018. These hardworking students are excited to perform for you today. Let's take a moment and listen. Washington County Attorney Kevin Magnuson. Kevin is committed to serving our community. He understands that justice requires hard work and perseverance. Kevin is thankful to be the Washington County Attorney and asks for your support in the upcoming election. And behind them comes the 3M Clown Club. Uh, They come all the time to this parade. Um, They've been making the young and old smile for over 50 years. The club partakes in parades, benefits, and programs for nursing homes. They love putting smiles on your face. And next up is the Gethsemane Lutheran Church and School. They are a kindergarten through eighth grade Lutheran private school located in Maplewood. Their mission is to partner with families to provide a Christian education where academic excellence and faith formation walk hand in hand. Behind them is Leslie Linneman for Senate, is an award-winning discrimination and civil rights attorney, She is proud of the Minnesota DFL party and is running to serve the residents of Oakdale, Little Canada, Maplewood, North St. Paul, Pine Springs, and Landfall in the Minnesota Senate. And FedEx Ground is a company that is always hiring. They are currently offering up to $20.50 to start. Part-time and full-time shifts are available. If you are looking for a job with benefits, advancement, opportunities and tuition reimbursement visit groundwarehousejobs.fedex.com directly behind them is the hudson ambassadors they consist of megan erickson sophia huber paige hurtkin and sydney warren they represent the hudson community through the volunteer run scholarships program these dedicated young ladies commit to a year of community service as goodwill ambassadors the Hudson Booster Day celebration is always held over the 4th of July. Thank you, ladies. Uh, next, we have Cub Scout Pack 817. Fun with a purpose. Meet the boys and girls participating in Cub Scouts and Scouts BSA in Oakdale. These youth in grades K through 12 learn life skills while enjoying the outdoors. Programs are year-round, so any time is a good time to join. For more information on units in the Oakdale area, visit adventureiscalling.org. And behind them is the Baldwin Royalty. They proudly represent the Chamber of Commerce and the Beauty Village of Baldwin. Please join us for the annual Chili Fest on September 24th at noon on Main Street and Windmill Days, June 7th through 11th, 2023. Our 2022 23 Miss Baldwin is Hope Hudemaker, First Princess Maddie Clark, Second Princess and Miss Congeniality Emma Yanish, Third Princess Zoe Kuzilek, and Fourth Princess Ashley Gordon. And next up, we have the St. Paul Winter Carnival Vulcans. Please welcome the 2022 St. Paul Vulcan crew. 
The Vulcans have been in existence since 1886 and are 136 and zero in their annual battles with Boreas that bring an end to our long, cold winters. <laughs> Please say hello to the 2022 Vulcan crew, Vulcanus Rex 84, Duke of Clinker, Count Embrius, General Flamus, Count of Ashes, Prince of Soot, Grand Duke Fertilius, and Baron Hot Sparkus. Hail the Vulc. Next up is the Royal Order of Klondike Cakes are from St. Paul Winter Carnival. They are known as the Mistresses of Fun, Frivolity, Merriment, and Song. They are proud to be present from the Royal House of St. Croix Hospice and Guardian Pest Solutions. Klondike Kate 22 is Tina Hacker. They're always fun to listen to. Boy, can they, can they bill her a song. Uh, I couldn't agree more. Oh, I love them. This is the Nature Mobile, owned and operated by the Sally Manzara Interpretive Nature Center in Sunfish Lake Park, Lake Elmo. The Nature Center is a nonprofit run by friends of Lake Elmo's Sunfish Lake Park, which was built by individual donations and volunteers. Visit seven days a week for a place of peace and respect where all ages are welcome to learn about and experience nature. There are camps and programs for all ages. The bus is a traveling nature exhibit which now houses a bird exhibit. It brings the nature center to those who are unable to come to the center, everyone from preschools, daycare centers, schools, to senior centers, and even hospice. They invite you to come check them out or you can contact them at the center or on their website. Behind them is the DFL Senate, District 44 organizes and connects Democrats in Oakdale, North St. Paul, and Maplewood and is working to elect the local DFL endorsed candidates, Peter Fisher for, no for House District 44A, Leon Lilly for House District 44B, Tao Zian for Senate, and DFL candidates up and down the ballot, including Betty McCollum for Congress. These DFL endorsed candidates are working to make our community safer, stronger, and more successful. You can learn more, get involved, or donate by going to www.sd44dfl.org or find their booth at Summerfest. Thank you. Just passing us now, uh, like a good neighbor, Tyson Norman State Farm is there. They offer insurance and financial services to the great city of Oakdale and beyond. Visit them at TysonNorman.com or at the office in the All Family Dental Building down the street near 10th and Hadley. Tyson Norman State Farm wishes you a fun and safe summer fest. And making his way on top of the Crunch Mobile is Crunch Dancing, do RSVP. Uh, making his return to Summerfest this year, it's the only one and only official mascot of the Minnesota Timberwolves, the best mascot in the NBA. Make some noise for Crunch. The Metropolitan Mosquito Control District is a government agency of the seven county metro area. Established in 1958, their mission is to protect the public from disease and annoyance caused by mosquitoes, black flies, and ticks in an environmentally sensitive manner. Behind them is River City Rhythm. Please welcome them from Anoka, Minnesota. River City Rhythm is excited to be back on the streets, bringing their unique ability to entertain the crowds of summer. And next, we have a touch of magic entertainment. These are just a couple of the fun and funny entertainers available for corporate, school, community, and private events. A Touch of Magic, a local company, also provides comedy, magic, balloons, and face painting. You can find them on social media at A Touch of Magic MN or A Touch of Magic Entertainment.com. This concludes the parade. Thank you for everyone for joining us tonight for the Ted Berth Grand Parade. It is time now to head over to Richard Walton Park and enjoy the rest of the City of Oakdale Summerfest celebration. Enjoy, enjoy a variety of food trucks and concessions, the Maplewood Lions Club Beer Garden, 
and listen to Stuck in the Middle, a cover band playing a variety of music at the band show. There are lots of activities happening tonight and all day tomorrow, so be sure to check out City of Oakdale's Summerfest website and don't miss the fireworks extravaganza tomorrow night, which is a very good job that they do. Thank you again and see you next year. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Pam. See you next year. Good night. Good night.